Hi there, Mr. Holcomb here with another episode of The Math Behind the Module. This is lesson 17. We'll be writing expressions in which letters stand for numbers. Okay, here we go. It starts off with a classwork, an exercise, and it's broken up into three stations. And what students are supposed to do is answer these three questions. So pause the video, see if you can do these. And when you're done, unpause the video and I'll show you the solutions. Okay, here we go. So what it wants us to do is give a the sum of a and b in an algebraic expression. So the sum of a and b would be a. I remember the word sum means to add and the word and tells us where to put that add symbol. So the sum of a and b. Okay, five more than twice a number of C. Now remember when we see the word more than, we read it this direction. So I'm going to do this side first. So it says twice a number C, which is two times C or simply two C, more than is plus, and then the five comes at the end. Whenever we see the words more than, less than, greater than, we always work right to left. So five more than two C, two C plus five. Okay, Martha bought D number of apples and then ate six of them. Okay, so she bought a certain number of apples D. If there were 10, then it would be 10. Eating six of them would decrease that value by six. So if D was 10, 10 minus six is four. If she bought seven apples, seven minus six, she'd have one left. So, okay, so there's station one solutions. Station two, 14 decreased by P. 14 decreased by means minus P. Number two, the total of, that's total means to add, D and F, comma, so that's going to separate it from what we're dividing by. So if we're going to, to divide by 8, I would write this, and then over here I'll do this, divided by 8. The total of D and F divided by 8. D plus F divided by 8. Now if I write it like this, the numerator is okay all by itself, but if you write it like this, this would not be correct because PEMDAS tells us to do division before addition. So it would be F divided by 8 and then add D to it. And that would look like this. And that is not correct. So to make not make that mistake, we need to do this. So these are the two possible solutions. Okay, last one. Rashad scored 6 less than 3 times as many baskets as Mike. Mike scored B baskets. So I'm going to put a B here. B is Mike's score. Three times as many as B. 3B. Less than means to go this direction. That means minus. And Rashad scored six less than 3B. So that's my answer. 3B minus six. Okay. Station three. The quotient. Division symbol. And that's where the division symbol goes. C divided by 6 or C over 6. Triple, that means times 3, the sum of X and 17. Triple the sum. Sum means to add. It goes where the and is. So it's X plus 17, and it says to triple the sum. It doesn't say to triple X. It doesn't say to triple 17. It says to triple the sum. So I need a parenthesis. Okay, so Gabrielle had B buttons, but then lost six. So that'd be B minus six. Gabrielle took the remaining buttons and split them equally among her five friends. So if she's going to divide what's left over, she's going to, going to divide that by five. Or I could do B minus six divided by five. But to avoid an error with no parentheses, okay, remember if we don't do parentheses, PEMDAS says to multiply, divide, then add, subtract. That would mean the same as 6 over 5. And D minus that. 
and this and this are not the same. So I don't want to do this. So to avoid that, I need parentheses around my B minus six. Okay, station four. D e doubled two D. Three more than that's plus. I'm gonna go this way because the word more than. I'm gonna start over here. Four times the number x is four x more than three. 4x plus 3 is the same as 3, more than 4. Molly has C pieces of candy. She doubles the amount of candy she has. <laughs> and then gives away 15. Take 15 away from that doubled amount. Okay? Station 5. F cubed means to the third power. The quantity of 4 increased by a, increased by is plus, 4 plus a, and then the sum is divided by 9. The whole thing is divided by 9. Or 4 plus a divided by 9. I'm going to show this again in the incorrect way because I need you to realize the order of operations are extremely important. So this PEMDAS tells us to do division first. So I would say A divided by, looks like a 9. A divided by 9. And then it says 4 plus that. This is not the same as this. That is incorrect. So to keep it correct, we need to do this. All right. Tay earned 4 points fewer, fewer, that's minus, than double. Odin scored. Odin scored P points. So Odin scores P and we want to double P. And for fewer than, less than, greater than, fewer than, that reads left, right to left. So I do this first, 2P minus 4 times the last because of the word fewer than. Okay. And finally, station 6. The difference between P and P. Six less than. There's that word again. It means minus, and it means to read it this way. So we're going to first do the sum of d and 9. d plus 9. Six less than that is this. Now in this case, we can use parentheses, but we don't have to. And the reason is, order of operations tells us to do parentheses first. If we only have addition and subtraction, it tells us to work left to right. Well, if we work left to right, we're going to do D plus 9 first. And if we do parentheses first, we're doing D plus 9 first. So it's going to result in the same solution. Number three, Madeline has X pants and S shirts. She combines them and sold half of them. So combine means to add. So X plus S. And then she sold half of them. So that means to divide them by 2. Okay. Or x plus s divided by 2. Now, if I did it this way, again, I can't stress it enough, so I'm repeating, repeating, repeating. PEMDAS says to divide first, so that'd be s over 2, and then add x to it. So this is not the same as this. That is incorrect, so I need to put parentheses here to keep the numerator together and then divide the whole thing by two. Okay, that was the end of lesson 17. Computer problem set.